I love this guy. <laughs> this guy is my my soulmate. He is um, he's a, a, a passionate creature with a desire for something. He desperately wants something and he can't have it. So we made this, this little show about Piggy. It's an allegory of desire. There's only three things in the show. A pig, a cake, and the audience. And the pig is very self-conscious and he's trying to lose weight, but he wants the cake. He desperately, desperately wants the cake. And as long as you are watching, he can't have the cake. So he wants to get rid of you so he can eat. You want to look at him. And, uh, and that's the conflict of the story. So it's an exercise in interactivity. Uh, we're trying to see how much we can uh, work with the audience in real time, like live theatre, to give you the sense of interacting with the character, having a relationship with the character. And all of the animation is um, pre-authored, fully realized, nuanced animation. So it's not machine made, it's, it's fully animated. So we're trying to see how far we can go with full animation and, and interactivity. Very interesting. <laughs> The story changes, the way, what you see depends on how you watch the show. So uh, if you're very interested in following the pig exactly, something happens. If you forget him for a moment and look back at the cake to guard the cake, something else happens. The beginning and the end are the same. It, the, the whole story is still the same story, but each time you watch it, just like a live show, it's slightly different. And depending on your interest, how focused you are, or how uh, well you want to look around, we try to accommodate, we try to make it possible for your way of watching the show to, to work, to change the show. We really want to see how far we can go with interactivity. Uh, one of the challenges for a filmmaker is to uh, deal with the attention of the audience, right? It's fundamental to storytelling in a film. Uh, I want to get your attention and then tell you a story and keep your attention. Now, we have a problem in virtual reality when we're inside the world of the story. It, uh, now, the audience can look anywhere and maybe the action is over here. That's the important thing to look at, but I'm looking at the wrong place. What will I do? What can the storyteller do to make sure that the audience sees all the important parts of the story, the key moments? Right? We can do many things, and of course, if we're good at uh, staging the action and making it exciting and, uh, and, and we want to watch it, then everything works. But sometimes we want to help the audience follow the story, even when they're a bit distracted, or sometimes we want to reward the audience for looking around. Um, so we have these techniques for doing interactivity, we can sometimes wait for the action, the action can wait until the audience is looking in the right direction. Sometimes the action can come to the audience wherever the audience is looking. All kinds of techniques like this so that the story is successful, so that the audience uh, has the experience of a complete story with a beginning, a middle and an end. Maybe different middles, maybe different ends, but always a complete story. Study theatre, live theatre. Um, virtual reality uh, storytelling is somewhere between filmmaking and theatre. It's like canned theatre. Yeah? You, you're, you're creating some uh, story which feels like it's happening now, like it's a live experience, but it isn't. But it feels like it. So we're, uh, we're finding that very accomplished, very skilled filmmakers are um, coming to virtual reality and they're learning how to tell their stories in a different way and sometimes learning how to be uh, theatre directors, how to create a story using the space uh, around you and often theatre directors are very uh, find the transition to, store, uh, to virtual reality very easy. They say, oh I understand this, I understand how to tell a story in space. Of course VR is, um, is like theatre in the round inside out. The audience is inside not looking at the story here but looking outside all around you. So it's a different way of structuring 
the scenes, the moments, the beats of the story. Um, it's just another way to tell a story. Actually, what I enjoyed most is working with our crew, the people. I, I loved working with Mark Ofterdahl, my old friend and colleague, who's a brilliant animator and character designer. I loved working with Meta Tang and uh, Yais uh, Bredstead, who are the, the animators. Um, we, had, uh, we had fun, and I, I hope it shows in the show. What we're trying to do in this one is to do comedy um, interactively. And the weird thing is that, you know, the secret of comedy is timing. In this one, you, the audience, have control of the timing. So, is it funny? I don't know. You decide. <laughs>